Welcome to Morning Man with Pastor Steve Myrie. This morning's topic, Breaking the Chains that Binds. And be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Romans 12, verse 2. There are many of us that are bound by chains, chains that prevent us from achieving our goals, socially, academically, and spiritually. There are those who struggle with generational curses which acts as chains that keeps us bound to the failures of our parents and foreparents. Have you ever noticed a dog that's tied up with a chain? Have you ever noticed how hard he tries to go a little further? The chain always stops him at the same place, never letting him go farther and experience more. When people take a dog on a walk, they leash them and sometimes use a chain to keep the dog from going anywhere other than where the owner wants a dog to go. The dog really has no freedom outside of a three feet radius. Before we can break the chains, we need to identify what chain or chains has got us bound. Many of us are bound by the chains of peer pressure. Yes, peer pressure. And when we hear this, we normally think of teenagers or children. However, peer pressure is not limited to teens, but adults and even old folks. Trying to fit in, trying to appease the crowd, trying to keep up with the Joneses. Many of us are bound by the chains of pride. The scripture reminds us as pride goeth before destruction and a hearty spirit before a fall. Many of us are bound by the chains of murmuring and complaining. We can never be satisfied. Nothing is ever good enough for us. The chains of division. We seek to do nothing but to divide, to cause mischief. Scripture reminds us that one of the things that God hates is a foot that is swift to do mischief. You can stand to see a good relationship. You have to find a way to destroy it. Many of us are bound to toxic people. We keep allowing people in our lives who don't appreciate us, who manipulates us, who uses us. And when they cannot have their way, they discard us. But how do we break this chain? When you have been baptized in the name of Jesus Christ and received the gift of the Holy Ghost, the Bible tells us that we are a new creation. And as a new creature, there are some things that are new about us. Yes, sir, hands might look the same, our feet, our walk, and our talk. But where the true change begins is in our minds. Your mind is like a computer program. Yes, you can program it to function the way that you desire. When we apply the blood with the word, then we can begin to renew our thinking. There are persons who are struggling with unforgiveness. And we conjure up this mentality that I can forgive but not forget. That's not necessarily true. Have you ever been in an argument with someone and it has been so long that you don't remember what caused the argument, but you know there was something? It's because you stopped focusing on what was done. Breaking the chain requires a mind that is not feeding on negative thoughts, a mind that deals with positivity. Anything around you that you realize is going to be draining your spirit, you need to discard. Many of us cannot get further in life because we are bound by mental chains. You can break the chains. Though you live in a ghetto, you don't have to have a ghetto mentality. Paul puts it like this. Finally, Bridget, whatever things are true, whatever things are honest, Whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things. The quote of the day, remove any negative thing or person that comes to drain your spirit. As you go today, go removing the spiritual chain that has been attached around your neck and go further than the three feet because there's no more restrictions. God bless you, in Jesus' name.